welcome back warriors to my channel today i have another diablo 3 video for you and in this video i'm going to show you how to use the puzzle ring to get access to the vault let's do it all right guys so i'm sure a lot of you know how to use the puzzle ring but if you're a new player or a returning player or you just need a refresher then i'm going to show you how to use the puzzle ring with the kanias cube to access the vault now a few things i should mention with the puzzle ring is that you can get them at all different levels and you can equip them, which summons a treasure goblin who picks up normal quality items for you. And then after picking up 16 items, he drops a rare item. So if you get this early on, or if you started from the beginning at level one and you find this early, it's really great for getting, you know, rare items to help you level up along your way to 70. But once you get them, using these in the Kanias cube to access the vault gives you a crap ton of gold and some awesome loot at the end. But so it's, it's worth mentioning that using this ring at lower levels a lower level ring besides 70 the treasure that's inside of the vault after you defeat the the goblin king is what i call him after you defeat the boss a lower level ring is going to give you lower yield and loot the quality of the loot isn't going to be as good unless you got a level 70 ring and this doesn't matter if you have a level 70 with a thousand paragon levels it's all about the level of the ring so as you can see here, I got a bunch of puzzle rings. We're going to go over and use one of these and show you how to use the vault. So let's do it. I've got some brand new All right, guys, you just come down to the Kanias cube here. Go into this question mark, which accesses the puzzle ring. Okay. It's going to put one in and we're just going to hit ready to transmute. Attention, items in the cube will be consumed. Continue anyway. What this means is it's just going to destroy the, the puzzle ring. Once you use it, it's gone forever. It's a one-time thing, one-time deal. So we're going to use it. Boom. And it opens up the portal to the vault. So let's go do it. All right, guys, we're in here. I'm going to take you through this vault. You're going to find a bunch, a bunch of guys in here. You're just going to want to go through and just destroy these guys, man. We're just going to act, go all the way through, all the way through, guys. We're going to go all the way through. We're going to try to kill all the gems, all the goblins in here. There we go. Try to pick up everything along the way. If you can, you don't have to pick up all the basic stuff. Try to grab just the legendaries and the gems. Make sure you're destroying all the little, like, stashes along the side, okay? You're going to see these things. They're like little gem stashes. See them right here? The valuables, you're going to want to destroy those. Those just give you more gems. And they're kind of hidden. Like, you can walk past those ones pretty easily. See big, huge piles here. Treasure, treasure. You're going to want to just pop all of those coming down. Now, as you guys can see, here's the big the vault door. Now, I want to show you guys a little cool little thing. You can see this, the boss from up here. This is actually really, really cool. So, up here at the top, you see the throne over here? It's up there in the corner. Boop, boop. See the throne? We're going to see the big, huge boss there in just a second. Let's go. All right. Inner Sanctum. Pop this. We're going to go inside, and we're going to fight the boss. All right. So you come over here. You see this big, huge, fat dude? He's sleeping. Look at him. Just Goblin King, just chilling. Grease Landing. You're going to want to hit X on the Grease Landing, and it wakes him up. Yeah, come on, big boy. Let's go. Come and get it. Woo, big boy. Boom. Defeat. Bam, he gets smashed by a big, huge treasure chest. Isn't that cool? So then this is how you get your treasure. You just walk up to the greed stronghold, and you just keep tapping X. It beats him into oblivion. It adds, oh, God, just more punishment. You keep hitting this until nothing more comes out, guys. This is how you get all of your treasure. See, now there's nothing left. Adding insult to injury, and you're just going to get all your items. And that is it. The vault closes in 40 seconds. I can't carry anymore. And we are just going to let this. Need to go back. We're going to go back to town. Now, I will say, if you let the counter go all the way down below 30 seconds, it's just going to kick you right back to town. And I'll showcase that for you guys. But this is how you use the vault it's really really cool to get a big boost of um money now we're at 500 million which is great 
we want to really get to that 1 billion mark. I know a lot of people just sit at 1 billion where they're doing stuff, crafting and all this, that and the other, but using the vault with these puzzle rings is a really great way to get a lot of gold really, really fast. If you're low on gold or a lot of gems, it's really, really good to get a bunch of resources. The additional items that you get from this is really, really good, but being able to get those resources of gold is very important. So as you see, we get brought back to town. There's no more portal portal to the vault. The puzzle ring is gone, and that is it, guys. That is all you have to do to use the puzzle ring to access the vault with the Canine Scoop. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I just wanted to make this quick video to showcase how to use the puzzle ring with the Canine Cube to access the vault for tons and tons of gold. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to drop a like as it does help me out. If you guys are new here, consider subscribing and joining the Warriors, guys, so you don't miss out on future Please, tip videos for Diablo 3. And for me, Warlog, as always, guys, stay gaming. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.